little internet dating. You guys do some internet dating? Huh? Yes, you do. I've seen you out there, ma'am. Craigslist. See, I'm kidding. Everyone does it. There's no shame. You know what's worse than internet dating? If someone like has a fork and they jab it in your eye. That's worse, but not much else. I gotta <laughs> tell you. But I have learned a lot. Uh, never date a man that complains about the unfairness of capitalism, because you know what that means? You're buying dinner. <laughs> Cause he's broke. I always date these like earthy, all natural artist types, you know, the type that wear Toms of Maine, all natural deodorant. That stuff actually gives you B.O. <laughs> it does. That is B.O. in a stick. It's like patchouli and underarm smell. Uh, but I had one nice date, really good time, went out with a guy. We went out to dinner, we're chatting and laughing, and afterwards he invited me upstairs to his apartment, and I went. And right when I walked in, I thought, oh, I hope he doesn't get the wrong idea and think that just because we're having fun that I'm going to sleep with him on a first date, uh, because I'm not. So I sit down on the couch, he goes into his room, and he comes out with a guitar. And he sits down next to me, starts playing a little music, you know, then he starts singing, and it's just awkward. You know when you get hot behind the neck because you're embarrassed for somebody else? I'm... <laughs> I'm flushed, I'm sweating, no one's in the room, I'm devastated, he's swaying back and forth. At times his eyes were shut because he was that into the music. And after seven or eight of his self-proclaimed hits, I was like, couldn't we just have sex? <laughs> oh my God, I'll go down on you right now, but we've got to get it over with because I've got to go home and write a joke about it. So, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Thank you guys, you've been great. Thank you.